Welcome to Master Math. Here's a couple of tips that will help you get the most out of this lesson. First of all, you can watch it three, four, five times if you need. Secondly, if you go through a section and don't understand what we're talking about, hit your back button and review that section again. Next, when you come to a You Try It slide, hit your pause button pull out some paper and pencil, do the problem yourself, and then hit the forward key to move on to my answer. Well, I hope you learn a little bit of math today and have a good time. Today we're going to talk about algebra. Now I know some of you think algebra is pretty confusing. Oh, stop crying, stop crying. It's not that confusing. We'll get you through this. Algebra is really not that complicated. I mean, you know how to manipulate numbers. If I told you that 3 hours plus 5 hours equals 8 hours, you'd know how to write an expression that said that. You'd write 3 plus 5 equals 8. Well that's a numerical expression. There's just numbers in that expression. Well you know what a numerical expression is. Now we're going to teach you what an algebraic expression is. It's really pretty simple. An algebraic expression is just a numerical expression except that we're going to substitute a letter for one or more of the numbers in the numerical expression. I mean, we can use an X, we can use a Y, we can use a Z, an A, B, C, a G, or a Q. We can use any letter, and that letter is going to represent an unknown number, a number that we don't yet know, but we'll probably be able to solve for or figure out. Let's look at an example. Let's say you were given an expression, how many hours plus 5 hours equals 8 hours. Well, here's how you'd turn that into an algebraic expression. You'd say, how many hours? That's what we're trying to find out. That's the unknown number. So we'll call it x. How many hours x plus 5 hours equals eight hours. X plus five equals eight. We call X the variable. The variable is the unknown number in an algebraic expression. And again, it could be X, Y, Z, A, B, C. It's the variable. X hours plus 5 hours equals 8 hours. The variable is the unknown number. It's what we want to find out. If you're given a problem and it says how many or how few, when you have a word problem and they ask you a question like that, just substitute x for the how many. Well, let's try some of this algebra. How many dollars plus three dollars equals five dollars? All right, all right, I know. You can figure this out in your head. You don't need algebra. Well, I'll tell you what. I can make a problem so hard that you couldn't possibly figure it out in your head, and you would need algebra to solve it. So let's use an easy problem and make sure that we understand how to use algebra. And when I get a word problem, I like to C-U-C-C -C it. C-U-C-C -C means circle the numbers and underline the question. That helps us focus in on what's important in the problem. So let's circle the numbers on this problem. How many dollars plus three dollars equals five dollars? Now what's the question? How many dollars? That's what we don't know. That's what they're asking us to solve for. It's a how many question. It's an unknown number. It must be a variable. 
So let's give that a name. Let's say X is how many dollars? Now it's easy. We've just got to translate this English into math. And it's just going to translate in order. We're just going to take the English and turn it into math. It starts out by saying, how many dollars? Well, we're already calling that X, so we'll translate that to X. The next thing it says is plus. Well, I know what that means. That's just a plus sign. X plus. Then it says 3. All right, well, let's put a 3 in there. Then it says equals. I know what equals means. It means put in a couple of parallel lines. And then it says $5. 5. X plus 3 equals 5. How many dollars plus three dollars equals five dollars? You try this one. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and when you get it solved, hit your forward key to move on to my solution. It costs three dollars for tickets to the dance. There's a number. Let me circle that. You have four friends you want to take with you. There's another number. How much will it cost? That sure sounds like the question. And it also sounds like an unknown number. How much? How many? That's an unknown number. And we'll give it a variable name. We'll say that X equals how much will it cost? Well now, it's pretty easy. We've only got three things to look at. We've got a 3, a 4, and an x. And we know they're going to be in our algebraic expression. So let's put it together. It costs three dollars for tickets to the dance. You have four friends. Well that means that you're going to pay three dollars per ticket times each of the four friends. So, three dollars times four friends equals the unknown number, how much it will cost, x. Now we can solve this easy now. Three times four equals twelve, so twelve dollars equals x. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. You got an 85 on your first math test and a 93 on your next math test. By how many points did your grade improve? Well, let's see you see, see this. I've got an 85, I've got a 93, so I'll circle those two numbers. And then my question is, by how many points did my grade improve? And that's my unknown number. That's my variable. And I'll call it x. Well, now we just got to translate this. You got an 85 on your first test and a 93 on your next test. And you're trying to find out what the improvement is, what the difference is. So I'll take 93, subtract 85 from it, and that will equal x, my unknown number. And that's easy to solve too. 93 minus 85 is 8. So 8 equals x. How many points my grade improved? Well, that's our lesson on writing and evaluating expressions. And now it's time to get moving. Hop on your bike and race over to www.mastermath.info where you'll find worksheets, answer sheets, and quizzes to see if you really understand writing and evaluating expressions. I hope you had a really good time. I hope you learned a lot. And I hope we see you again real soon.